Yo. This one air is um was it a Alia? Ayla? <laughs> I don't know. But um Alex they were talking about um monogamy and if it goes against human nature. This is something I've been like thinking about for a while. Like I've been kinda um I got a, I went on a podcast recently, it's coming out soon. Um it was kinda speaking about this but can't lie, I was a bit nervous though, and I was, <laughs> so obviously I didn't really, I didn't really expand on, on my views on it too much, but um, yeah, I want to hear what they have to say, and then hopefully I'll have something to say as well. What do you think of monogamous relationships, like philosophically? Can you maybe steal man or make the case for monogamous relationships? Um, it, Can you understand the pros and cons of monogamous relationships? I guess. Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you defend. If you're like, hey, uh, we you can do whatever you want, but you and I are going to spend the rest. Like, we just, you're 80 years old and like, oh, we spent 60 years in a marriage together. We've never had sex with anybody else. I think that's like awesome. If that's what you want. That's great. Um, I have like a little bit more problems with people doing that while also forcing their partner not to misbehave if they want to. Like, if oh, you're I like, see. oh, I, we only made it this far in a monogamous relationship because I forced my partner not to pursue an that's that's my like like that's the way how i look at it like i feel like there's nothing wrong with monogamous relationships at all you know what i'm saying like i'm in a monogamous relationship in it but like i feel like it should be by choice you know what i'm saying like i feel like if somebody like i'm not i'm not saying that if you have urges to step out or whatever then you should i'm not saying that but i'm saying that you should give that person the the freedom to indulge in them urges or not. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that's where you get a true representation of their character. Now, if that's something that you won't, um, like, you're just not comfortable, uh, like, like, you're just not okay with it. You know what I'm saying? You're, you don't want them to do that. Then I feel like that showed you who they really are. So now you can go find somebody who who fits fits the way that you want to live your life better. Like I feel like if you're um like yeah like if 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 you're just there like all right cool these are the rules this is what I want like I I feel like that's cool if you lot um agree to the same terms and conditions of you lot's relationship then it's cool but I don't know man like I would prefer me personally I would prefer my partner to be as honest with me as they are to themselves do you know what i'm saying and i want them to um i want them to show me who they really are in it and if that doesn't fit what i want then it is what it is isn't it but yeah man intimacy that she wanted to then i feel like a little like more like ah, i don't know if that's great how do you know if it's a real want for an intimacy like checking out a attractive person while being inside a monogamous relationship. Yeah, how do you square that? that? Is that bad that the person cannot pursue those feelings? Uh, I mean, it depends if they want to. Like, I often find people attractive I don't want to pursue. I'm also okay with people entering into agreements. Like, if you and I want to agree, like, I'm only going to enter this because I'm going to be so hurt if you pursue somebody else. So I'm not going to pursue anybody else. That seems fine to me. But I also extend that. Like, if, if somebody's like, I don't want you to have any friends, I'm going to feel really insecure if you... <laughs> And like, right. okay, like if you want to enter that agreement, like I feel the same way. Like I think you should have the right to do it if this is what you want. But I also kind of, I feel like a little weird about restricting your part. Yeah, there we go. Like I feel like the, it needs to get laid out on the table, isn't it? Like this is, this is my expectations. This is what I want. And um, yeah, this is, this is what I want. You know what I'm saying? And then the person, the other person can say what, what they want. Um, how they revision, like, envision a relationship being, and then you lot can accept it or deny it. You know what I'm saying? But to be like, no, don't do that. Don't do that because I don't want you to do that. Like, it's just like, bro, like at, like, at that point, it's like, who are you even dating? Like, you're not even dating your, your partner. You're just, like, you're dating this kind of, this fake show. You know what I'm saying? Like this, this little, this character, like that's what you want. Like, I don't get it. partner from doing things, you know. Oh, but I guess if you're honest about it, and you just put it on the table. Yeah, <laughs> I don't honest. want you to have any friends. Yeah, <laughs> I want you to sit in a box. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I think a lot. I guess if you're like really on the, but then it, there's like, it, there's a power dynamic mm -hmm. that like you can be quite influential in a relationship in convincing your partner, and it sure sounds like you're honestly agreeing to a thing, but you're not really agreeing. Mm -hmm. That's the, I mean, part of that is the beauty of relationships, right? Like, it's messy. It can be messy. It's hard to know what you really want, yeah. right? I think that's mainly my complaint with monogamy. Like I'm down with like conscious monogamy. Yeah. But I think so many relationships are like monogamous by default. Like people, sure. it's not actually right for them, but they just get into it because culture just doesn't give them another option. And they don't even ask themselves the question, is this right for me? Right. Like, Which like, I'm a weird ass person who thinks a lot of weird shit, but I didn't even think about polyamory as an option before I had heard that it existed. Yeah. And it was only when I first met my first polyamorous couple and I was like, oh, that's what I am. That's clearly the thing that I am. Yeah, it's funny because to me, monogamy, is, is, it's not, a, it doesn't make sense for it to be a default. Like to me, monogamy goes against human nature. That's hmm. in some sense, like romance is a fuck you to the way the world works. Really? <laughs> yeah, like it's a, like Romeo and Juliet romance, like traditional description of what romance looks like versus like sure there's like a million variations of that but in in my in my head like this partnership that's for a long time together is a kind of you know like uh i don't know like true romance you know that movie it's a really fucking good movie I haven't seen it, no. okay there's, there's, just, there's just like um you're together against the world mm -hmm. yeah that's the I mean that's what close friendship feels like. It's like ride or die. Right? Yeah, like that. I guess it doesn't. It ha, it doesn't. It can be. It can span across multiple. You can have multiple partners in that way. Yeah, absolutely. But, but I just don't see monogamy as like this. Def, definitely not a default. And I would actually mm -hmm. like honestly would probably see polyamory as a more natural default. To be honest, <laughs> I agree. Still, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I agree still uh, fucking yeah like I feel like um, just like I was saying in the last video like I feel like uh, you know I'm making I'm making a video about this later still about um, this whole red pill but anyway that's something different but I feel like society reinforces insecurity so much that you don't even know it's insecurity anymore you know what I'm saying and I felt like if we was, uh, if we grew up knowing um, where we was insecure and everyone wasn't guarding their feelings so much and was just open to exploring these insecurities and where they stem from and being and trying to get over them, I feel like a lot more people would be more inclined for this type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you know? Like, literally, like, Nearly every nigga that I know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, every nigga that I've spoken to about this subject says, oh, I wish I could have a relationship where I could just G any girls, but then, but I just don't want my girl to do it. <laughs> like, I do, do I even need to expand on that? Like, clearly, it's out of some insecurity, in it. you know what I'm saying? Or feeling like men and women are fundamentally different, you know what I'm saying? But even that, I feel like it's just like a coping neck mechanism for you to be fine with how insecure you are, in it. But, um, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it depends on what you mean by default. Like, most of human history has been sort of a weird mix. Like, you get polygamy and monogamy are the, kind of the main sure arrangements but, but i mean yeah. just like human nature like i yeah people are attracted to other people and they want to yeah especially in longer term relationships i i tracked uh, in my relationship survey i tracked the amount of cheating over time in a relationship like how long have you been uh -oh. in this relationship and how yeah. have you cheated mm -hmm. um, what's, the, what's, the, what's the results of that men cheat a lot uh women too but men cheat about 30 percent more than women do i also asked men and women to predict if they think their partner has cheated Mm -hmm. And people's predictions were about the same. So people roughly predicted that their male or female like spouse uh, hadn't cheated about the same rate, but men cheated much more than women. So who uh, who was more correct in their prediction, though? Uh, so men were more correct in their prediction predicting women, and yeah. women were thought men, women were more off. Women thought men cheated much less than they actually did. <laughs> and but yeah. <laughs> both of them were off, but like the male gap was significantly more. So yeah, I mean you're right. When you say monogamy is not default, like I think. 
you're like really getting at something like human beings are just especially in long-term relationships it's difficult to only want one person and there's just there's just no size fits all when it comes to life bro like like ugh. this is just a whole nother tangent on itself in it but it's like bro we're so we're such individual beings in it you know what i'm saying but obviously everyone's just quick to categorize each other in it so we're just like you're this sort of person you're that sort of person whatever but we're all so different bro <laughs> every single person in this on on earth is so different yeah and has have lived through completely different experiences to one another so there's no like when it comes to this like relationship thing there's no there's no one way that just works for everybody you know what i'm saying as you can see so much people cheat like you know what i'm saying like there's no this is the way how it has to be no you know what i'm saying like i understand why this form would be incentivized a bit more just because of like um like the uh like this how state like it I, I would guess that monogamy would um ensure that you have a more stable family life you know like you would be with your wife and uh obviously you got your kids or whatever and it's like you lot are just one unit so i'd understand it from that aspect but i feel like it's really it's more pushed because of like religious tradition religious ide ideology more than anything else but, um yeah but to be fair i think monami and commitment are very different i think you'd be incredibly i've known so many very long-term super committed poly couples that live lives that look very similar to the very romantic monogamous couples like yeah. children houses they've 20 years yeah uh, and that that works great for them yeah yeah i mean there's so much to like open your mind to in these kinds of conversation these kinds of ideas but i also like realize like some of the cake is baked like i have some assumptions that are hard to break through like what for myself like it's it's difficult for me to imagine a polyamorous relationship for me that would work yeah but i don't have enough data i don't have a like i have very little but like at this point it's like um i haven't eaten pizza in like 20 years because i know i just don't uh, there's a bunch of stuff i just I eat low carb because it makes me feel good but I, there's so many foods i haven't explored it's just like well i know what i love <laughs> so yeah well, then you, you probably you explore every monogamous. once in a while you, yeah and you kind of figure that out but at the same time you're humbled by like even talking to you or looking at your data like with sexuality is a, is a is a fascinating topic because it seems that we're very like we were talking about very afraid of this topic yeah like to be really honest with ourselves yeah, about it the, the whole like uh, academic research is afraid of it but it's so core to who we are as human beings well, yeah yeah man i agreed with everything that was spoken in this video still i'm happy that i actually reacted to this still car um yeah man like these are topics that um i'm trying to dig deep within myself to kind of find what these answers mean for me but um i'm also trying to just look at humanity and kind of find the like find some of the reasons why we act the way that we act in it you know what i'm saying obviously i explore these things a bit more on my other channel i have that in the description but um yeah i thoroughly enjoyed that you know what i'm saying you know lex doing what he usually does um this woman uh Alia, Ella, <laughs> I don't even know, but, um, yeah, no, I want, I want to see, I want to see more of her story, she seems like she, um, she's, well, she had a lot, a lot of thoughtful answers in this, so, yeah, man, but, um, yeah, man, I'll check to you lot in a bit, innit, yeah.